Welcome to Notability, where every page tells a story. And today, I would like to compare uh, Traveler's Notebook and Passport size with Kensington in the mini size with my Kensington in pocket, si pocket size. And I would like to compare and to see, to show you uh, the difference and the advantages and maybe disadvantages, because when I was... Uh, looking for uh, Kensington pocket, uh, pocket and Kensington uh, uh, mini, I did not, uh, I couldn't find a video that would compare uh, Traveler's Notebook and Passport with uh, both of the sizes. And uh, so this is my Kensington in pocket size. Again, this is, I showed you in my previous videos, this is a great uh, binder with a uh, really great leather and color the only problem is, uh, that i have is its size not even the bulkiness bulkiness is okay ish but its size in terms of the height and width so i don't have any pockets uh, to carry it in and i asked the question i didn't know i don't know why it's called a pocket you uh, what's the reason to call this one a pocket if i cannot use any pocket for it and uh, one uh, person commented saying it's probably because of this pocket side on the back and it may be it maybe not because the mini size also has uh, the pocket so let's start from the beginning let's start with uh, kensington in pocket size. It has almost 15, 14 and a half centimeters in height and uh, 11 centimeters, almost 11 centimeters uh, in width. Let me actually adjust something. Okay. And uh, this is a great, a great binder, as I said. It has six rings. Uh, it uses a uh, standard uh, pocket size inserts and I will we will talk about uh, this later and I will show you some differences so it has uh, great rings it has uh, great leather but as I said it's a little bit bulky the mini size on the other side on the other hand let's let's come first let's compare it with the traveler's notebook with this traveler's notebook in passport size it's a standard from the traveler's company let's see it's as you can see the traveler's notebook is shorter and this one is the pocket uh the kensington is wider uh, i would say let's compare let's say in terms of it's almost 15 centimeters, almost uh, half an inch taller and two centimeters and almost uh, three quarter of an inch wider. Plus it has this uh, uh, clapping system and uh, this pen loop, which in my case is almost unusable because uh, there is no, I don't, you have to have a really thin pen. Oh okay, yeah, let's. Uh, so that's the comparison with. You can let me show you in this way. We can compare it with its thickness. I don't know. Now we go and compare it with the mini size. The mini size. Uh, it's really great. It's like really mini notebook. It's actually almost the size of. Uh, the traveler's pocket notebook it's a little bit pocket no uh, traveler's uh, passport size is a little bit taller it's uh, one centimeter taller 10 millimeters one centimeter taller but in terms of the width it's almost the same and its thick uh, thickness is uh, i would say almost the same it's a little, a little small. This one I can carry in any pocket I have. You can put it in any pocket and when you um, 
try to squeeze the rings are really small tiny uh, they are protected well so you can put them in your inner pocket of your jacket you can put them in uh in your pants i wouldn't put it in the back pocket though now the main it also has uh it's almost the exact copy of the pocket size it has so uh, three have three three cards this one has four card slots it has uh, a zip pocket here it have a in sub pocket inside uh, from both of the sides and it also has this uh, department uh this pocket that you could put your uh money in any bills and denominations and whatnot the main difference what i would say is the main area of compromise and now let's put uh let's put this this is uh the standard file effects insert for uh the mini size so and this is where the problem comes at least for me in addition to uh to the size in addition to that i cannot carry uh, the pocket size in any of my pockets. Let me pull the papers out. All right, let's compare the size, the paper size of the mini and the pocket. You see the difference? Plus you add those holes that you have to adjust when you write and uh, yes you can write around them but usually it's uh you will write this is your working area and this is the working area for the mini size now let's compare it with the traveler's notebook this is the standard uh traveler's notebook standard, but passport traveler's notebook and when you take the pocket size insert it's almost to the t the size of the paper the size of the passport insert almost now the question comes if you have travelers notebook in passport size and you want to switch to a pocket size uh, file effects, you will have to adjust for uh, the holes area because you will not be able to write. And uh, you will have to also adjust for the thickness of this and the, tall, uh, the size of the pocket size. If you have a bag or if you carry a bag all the time, that's probably will not be a problem for you. But for most of men, it's going to be an issue to have almost exact same size, the paper size of your working area, which in reality you won't be able to use because of the. Uh, let me find. So let me find uh, an insert that I. I think I rolled something around. Yes. I have an insert where I pull this out from uh, from the file effects and I wrote, wrote around the holes. And uh, it wasn't the best experience. I'll tell you that. And when it goes to the mini size, you can see the area that you have to deal with. And again, I'm not saying that it's bad. I'm not saying that this one is good. It all depends on your use. It all depends on your needs. And it all depends on your own personality. For me, I write, as you can see, my writing is tiny. I write really small. And you can probably, I can zoom you that you can see my writing. So my writing is really small. But let's say for my wife, and her writing is uh, huge. She writes with uh, large letters, and uh, for her, having something like this would be a disaster. For me, uh, I prefer this size, or uh, 
the passport size. But the biggest problem is to have only if I had a system, really slim one, a rings based system, a slim one that I can use in my pocket, some, something like this. And people are suggesting me a plotter system, which is, let me kind of compare to this, which is great, but I don't have a plotter yet. And plot, probably plotter mini would be a really nice addition to my collection. I would probably, probably maybe, I don't know, I will bite a bullet and go and buy me a mini plotter in six rings. Now I'll leave it here for your comparison uh, that you can see uh, the binders themselves and the paper themselves. I hope this video will be a help to the one that uh, who is looking to switch or who is searching for a comparison between Traveler's Passport size, uh, Filofax in, uh, in a pocket and a mini and you will be able to make a conscious decision when switching from one system to another. If you like this video, please uh, uh, push that like button, subscribe to my channel if you are in the paper-based productivity, if you like notebooks, uh, binders, rings, strings, travelers, notebooks especially, and next video probably will be about my reasonings why A5 file effects is the best size. See you next time. Bye.